hi guys so over the weekend i took a workshop a two-day workshop saturday and sunday so this was a reason actually why i was really excited about moving to new york to take classes and workshops since i graduated from university i never had the chance to afford going to workshops and classes so that's why everything i know i've learned it myself and Hamburguesa is crying. Hamburguesa. Mi amor. <laughs> so this past weekend, I decided to take a workshop on risograph. Now, um, a couple of months ago, I had no idea what risograph is, but it's basically a Japanese brand for copies for like Xerox machine, so to speak. And it's a new, it's not a new way, but it's it, it became popular a couple of years ago in the illustration scene. And it's a new, I, I wanna say new in quotes, but it's a different way of printing. The reason why Risograph has, has become more and more popular is because it's very inex inexpensive, it's very cheap to print and the effect and the texture that you can get on your um, on your prints is delightful. It's, it's really, really nice. So I decided to take this workshop over at this SVA, the School of Visual Arts, and I was really, really excited to start. Let me see if I can explain this correctly. <laughs> it's very tricky. So a risograph machine, what it does is very similar to um, screen printing in the sense that the machine will only create a master in which you can print with, with um, creating black, with a black illustration, with black layers. So you will have to create one layer per color. Since my scene had four colors, which were 
blue, cornflower blue, teal, and pink. I needed to create four layers in black in order the machine to create the masters for those uh, four colors. So I had to copy in black and white all of my layers that I did that day. This is the black and white, I mean, this is the blue layer. As you can see, all of the outlines and texts, I wanted them to be blue. Uh, all of the details and outlinings are in dark blue. This is, for example, the pink layer. I know it, sound, it looks creepy because everything's black now. Uh, and this is the tricky part of working with Versograph that you have to imagine how everything will look like as pink. I'm sure this is much easier on the computer, but I decided to do this analog, like traditionally without um, any digital tools. I did all of this with color pencils and markers. Uh, but all of, this is all of you can see is uh, will be <laughs> the pink layers. It's much easier to see this on a light box, but you can see that if you put this on top, um, it creates uh, the shadow of what the pink is going to look like. This is the teal layer, so as you can see, all of the leaves and for example, bushes and trees and stuff like that, they're on this layer, as well as some details for the wind. And this is the cornflower blue um, layer. So for example, we have here the greenhouse and the sky. As you can see, it's very, very dark because I need this color to be as opaque as possible. So the darker you do the layer, uh, the more darker this color will look like. So for example here, I wanted this to be a lighter shade of cornflower blue. So this in the end would look something like 90% or 80%. Um, this one didn't transfer as well as I expected on the final result. So this was really nice to use as experiment because for later <laughs> trials, or later experiments, I would love to see if I can put this on a darker shade so I can get something like a 70 or 80 percent. Um, and once you have this done, you can create the masters for each and every single color. Okay. All right, so the blue, this is the problem. The blue is changing. Thank you so much, Jen, for allowing me to use your wonderful text. 
I, I am so happy with the result. Of course, I will change a million things about the scene uh, because as you guys know, there was some part of Sky that was in this um, page of the scene that it didn't go through. I don't know why, uh, color-wise. And I would have loved to add more details, but when you are working on a one-on-one -on -one scale with color pencils, it's very hard to add more details. But anyway, I am so happy that I did this and I learned how to make a scene from one page and that I, use, I, I learned how to use the Resograph machine. If you guys are wondering which model of uh, scene I use, it was this one. I had no idea it existed actually. But you basically grab a piece of paper and um, you divided it in uh, eight uh, equal, equal <laughs> sections. And what you do is you have to cut this section over here and what you do next is you fold it and in a sort of like accordion shape this side and the other side will create separate pages like this so it's, it, it will form like a tiny booklet uh, this is the face cover the one two, three, four, five, and six page and the back cover it's very nice I love always doing mock-ups of um, my scenes because I ha have a better sense of how many content I can put on each and every single page and it, it, will, it, it was much easier actually to do this in the beginning and then to plan ahead the uh, tiny pages. Uh, of course I had many mistakes in the, <laughs> the process of printing this scene but I thought it was going to be like a good souvenir to keep all of the printing mistakes I had on the way. I don't know if you can see guys but the greenhouse and this is in this part of the scene instead of here and yeah it looks like a mess but it's an adorable mess and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i i did my best to share everything i know about scenes and risograph i have the best time learning guys i missed learning like this with a teacher and someone uh, just like paying attention that you're learning properly i guess um i just wanted to take the time to really thank my patrons because they allow me to not only buy these wonderful lights in which now the color editing on my videos is going to be much easier but also because thanks to them I reached 5k the other day on Patreon and that was so unreal and just wonderful. They're the ones who allow me to now take classes and learn things and do workshop which was something that I have never uh, like I've never been able to do this before. So I really wanted to thank you guys for everything and for supporting me and watching my videos and leaving comments. Um, they really, really made my day. Thank you so much to all of you guys. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend ahead and I'll see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs>